Welcome to the Shikama Live Show with your host Shikama. Please, first of all, I want the first thousand people to thumbs up or thumbs down and definitely leave a comment. I love reading your comments. Also, if you can donate to the channel, I'm trying to get a camera because people are complaining that they cannot see me. I did have a camera before, but it was a part of the computer. I have a new computer. My old computer completely is destroyed. Uh, it's a brick. Also, I'm going through financial troubles because I had 10 people pass away. Okay, apparently I'm not fully over all of that. I had 10 relatives pass away during the pandemic. It was literally every month, and the last two were my cousins my age, so or, or even younger than me. So I wasn't uploading twice a day like I should have been, and so... I'm in financial trouble and my credit cards are maxed out, but apparently I am not the only one in the United States. Anyway, that's to say, uh, please donate. Do not donate with Super Chat because YouTube takes 40% of it, then they transfer it to a online money person and they take a percentage off and then it finally comes to me. So it's something like I get like 20 to 30 percent of the original amount that you donate through Super Chat. So don't use Super Chat. Use one of the links that I provide. I want to talk today. I'm a third year law school student. I need a hundred thousand dollars to complete my law degree. I don't have a hundred thousand dollars. This this is the state that we live in now. I don't have a hundred thousand dollars to complete my law degree, but hopefully I will soon. And if you want to lo loan me some money, I'll pay you back. <laughs> uh, I said that to say, I've worked in law firms, I've done, I've filed all the paperwork, looked at all of the cases, I have experience. I am not a lawyer, I'm simply a law student, but I've clerked with people, including uh, one of them was my professor who sits on the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals. Now, this is a case about the Marine veteran and two other people. Now immediately, the people came out and, and protested that he was not arrested that the Marine veteran who put a chokehold on a violent man who said that he was both going to kill people, the passengers on the subway, and also said that he wanted to die, and he put him in a chokehold. Well, a chokehold uh, is very tenuous. Uh, you go from uh, cutting off the oxygen to cutting off the oxygen completely. So you go from passing out, and there's a time period, uh, and to losing your life. Now, the problem with this case is that the, the person in question, the Marine veteran, was coming to the aid and assistance of everybody on the train who were all, of, who were all in fear for their life. That's one of the facts that they leave out of the case. And that should have been a cut and dry, no, this is not something that we need to prosecute. But the, the whole thing is in New York. And the DA is a Soros DA. And the Soros DA is of the opinion that the criminal is a victim. So if the criminal is a victim, who do we prosecute? In this case, we prosecute the actual victim of the crime. That is to say, the homeless guy threaten the people on the subway so we want to prosecute the people on the subway for being threatened by a dangerous guy who has uh, over 40 arrests and is uh, has a warrant out for his arrest for aggravated assault so he has a history of carrying out the very thing that he threatened to carry out that day now in the ca in this case the Marine veteran is white. The criminal was black. So then they said, oh, this is a racial case. Oh, hold on, Sparky. Two other men also restrained the homeless guy. And one of them was black. So this isn't a case of race or at all. This is a case of there is a cr violent criminal who has threatened people and has a history of carrying out the threats. I even believe he pushed somebody on the, on the subway tracks. So we have an actual 
threat and we have a personal defense that's going on. Now, they're also saying, well, th this is just targeting a mentally ill patient as if to say being mentally ill exonerates you from anybody defending themselves to do crime you must not be in your right frame of mind to begin with it is not a defense to say somebody is mentally ill in the case of uh, mental illness the only question is are you a danger to yourself or are you a danger to society? It is very rare that a mental illness arises where you're not a danger at all. If you're not a danger at all, more than likely, nobody is going to detect that you're mentally ill because there's no evidence that anything wrong is going on. This is why the latest stuff that's going on socially, and it's a mental illness, is now coming out as, oh my God, these people are dangerous. Yes, these people are dangerous. That is the whole idea of mental illness. They are not fit to exist in society. That's the whole point of it. There is something wrong. And we have an entire party that says you should never say that there is something wrong. But that doesn't make sense. Of course you should say something is wrong. How can people protect themselves? How can people defend themselves if they do not know something is wrong? It's called being uh, socially aware, environmentally aware. I'm, I'm getting the word wrong. Correct me in the comments. Situationally aware. Situa situational awareness. You have to be aware of the situation that is unfolding around you. And you have to squeeze your reaction time down so that you have situational awareness and your reaction to the situation has to be instantaneous to ha to be effective. So, a mentally ill person threatens to commit bodily harm to 40 people on a subway train. The situationally aware Marine veteran and two other men restrained the violent criminal. It is disgusting that you then have people like Al Sharpton uh, race baiting this entire situation. And you have a George Soros, a district attorney, uh, try, trying to prosecute this man. I doubt very much that they're going to be successful unless uh, the uh, DA pulls some sort of shenanigans because the people who are going to sit in the jury box more than likely are people who take the New York subway. And the people who take the New York subway have had it with the violence and the crime that's going on in the New York subway. I predict that there will be a resounding defeat unless there is some shenanigans that's, that the district attorney is going to pull. And that is my prediction. Thank you all for watching.